In this video, we'll discuss prevention and prophylaxis of rabies. Rabies is a disorder that passes to human through bites and scratches from infected animals. Once signs symptoms appear, it's almost always fatal. There are only six reported cases of survival. Rabies is a zoonosis, and most animals affected are skunks, raccoons, foxes, dogs, cat and also bat which is a flying bird. Rabies prophylaxis may be pre-exposure prophylaxis and post-exposure prophylaxis. So let's discuss pre-exposure prophylaxis. Best way of pre-exposure prophylaxis is to immunize all pets against rabies. Number two, immunize people who come in contact with animals like veterinary doctors and their staff, people working with animals and people working in the lab. Number three, immunize people living in countries or traveling to countries where rabies is endemic. So how many doses of vaccine are given in pre-exposure prophylaxis? Three doses of human deployed cell rabies vaccine which is a killed virus vaccine are given and then booster is given every two years. Here is the protocol for pre-exposure rabies prophylaxis. So it's given to occupational people, people working with the animals and people working in the lab and to the travelers to endemic areas. Three doses 0721 day 0, day 7 and day 21. What if a previously immunized person is bitten by an animal or is exposed to rabies? The previously immunized person is given two doses of the vaccine day 0 and day 3. Do you give rabies immunoglobulin to previously immunized people? No. Rabies immunoglobulin is not given to previously immunized person. Also the people living in the areas where the rabies is endemic, three doses of human deployed cell rabies vaccine are given and with booster every two years. Let's discuss the post exposure prophylaxis. If the animal, dog, cat or ferret that bite it's caught confined and observed for how many days 10 days if there is no sign symptom of the disease in the 10 days then no treatment but if the sign symptom of the disease develop animal is killed and a brain examined for rabies virus by direct fluorescent antibody testing and viral isolation using cell culture or mice inoculation and treatment is given we'll discuss treatment in a moment number two any animal other than dog cat and ferret should be killed and his brain should be examined immediately for rabies by fluorescent microscopy. Specimen is negative, no treatment. Number three, immediately kill an animal who is bitten by unknown or a rabid animal. Number four, if the animal escapes, patient is given vaccine and serum both. Rabies immunoglobulin plus rabies vaccine in immediate post-exposure period is highly effective in preventing rabies. Rabies vaccine and immunoglobulin should never be given at the same site or in one syringe. They should be given separately. Number five, presence of bat in a small room with a child or a sleeping adult also requires post exposure prophylaxis. And number six, in high endemic risk areas, rabies prophylaxis should be initiated without waiting for lab results. How post exposure prophylaxis is done? It has two parts. Number one, local wound care and number two active and passive immunization what's the advantage of local wound care and how do you do? local wound care decreases the risk of rabies by as much as 90 percent the local wound care is done by the following method clean and wash the wound and scratches by water and soap thoroughly for 15 minutes and then by alcohol and tincture iodine devitalized tissue should be debrided tetanus troxide is given and a patient is given anti do not cauterize or suture wound up to 48 hours. Number two, both active and passive immunization of the rabies vaccine. Inactivated rabies vaccine is highly immunogenic and safe. How many doses and when they are given? A rabies vaccine is given in five doses on day 0, 3, 7, 14, and 28. That is a one month course. Pregnancy is not a contraindication, but glucocorticoids should be avoided. So, where the vaccine is given? Vaccine is given in deltoid or or in lateral thigh in children it's not given in gluteal region because it may not go intramuscularly so it the treatment may fail there is another vaccine which has a four multi-site regime two doses on day zero one on each deltoid and one dose on day seven and day 21 so zero zero seven 
and 21. What's the site of rabies immune globulin injection? As much as possible, rabies immune globulin should be infiltrated at the site of bite wound and remaining should be injected intramuscularly. Injection is not given intragluteally. How to inject rabies immunoglobulin if wound is large or if they are multiple? Dilute rabies immune globulin to make it voluminous for adequate infiltration of all wound sites. What about if the exposure involves mucous membrane? In that case, entire dose of immune globulin should be given intramuscularly. Rabies vaccine and immunoglobulin should never be given at the same site or in one syringe. They should always be given separately. How about vaccination in immunocompromised host? The vaccination in immunocompromised host is done similar to the other people, but serum neutralizing antibodies are measured two to four weeks after the immunization. What's the advantage of human rabies immunoglobulin to equine rabies immunoglobulin? Human rabies immunoglobulin is preferred because equine form has the risk of serum sickness and anaphylaxis. The dose of human rabies immunoglobulin is 20 IU per kg. So what if human immune globulin is not available? If human rabies immunoglobulin is not available, then equine rabies immunoglobulin is given after intradermal skin taxing. What if rabies immunoglobulin is not available immediately? If rabies immunoglobulin is not available immediately, then rabies vaccine is given and then rabies immunoglobulin is given within seven days but not after the seven days because after seven days endogenous antibodies are produced in the body so passive immunization in that case may be harmful and there is no treatment for rodent bite.